Satan vapes in the bathrooms at East Syracuse Manoa High School. School administrators will now know within seconds. News Channel 9's Christy Casciano shows us the technology in place to stop a growing problem. They may look like harmless thumb drives, pens, maybe a bottle of hand sanitizer, but this stash is all e-cigarettes or vapes taken from students on ESM grounds. Teen vaping is still prevalent in our schools. Is it getting worse? I definitely think it is, uh, especially with uh, the dispensaries that are you know, popping up with the uh, legalization of cannabis. Uh, so not only are teens vaping the nicotine, but also the THC. You know, I've heard the same um, theories about the, the, you know, smoke is harmless. It's a water vapor that comes out of it when in fact it's not. It's not. Educators and health experts worry about the long-term effects of nicotine on students developing brains. <laughs> School districts like ESM are now taking steps to curb vaping among students. I think that the earlier that we can intervene and the better that we can educate both our teens, their parents, and our society, uh, hopefully we can begin to prevent uh, engaging in such an activity. To try and stop vaping in bathrooms at ESM High School and even the middle school, they've installed these. They're vape detectors. We explored grants that would allow us to uh, purchase those devices. It will detect if vaping is going on within proximity of that vape detector and then it will send an electronic signal, a digital signal to uh, one of the individuals that the principal has designated to receive that information. With vape products being discreet, they're easy to conceal and kids as young as middle school are trying the products. Education will be another key factor in hopefully uh, both preventing and prohibiting such activity in the future. And parents need to play a part too with continuing conversations about the dangers of vaping. Unfortunately, um, they may be succumbing to an addiction without even realizing it. I think on the other hand, there are many of our teens who are adamantly opposed to vaping. They're adamantly opposed to anything that would impair their health or anyone else's health. So I don't think we can just paint a broad brush. And with the help of these new sensors, they'll get an alert on the students who are to try and stop this troubling trend. The district purchased the vape detectors with grants and students caught vaping face a suspension from school. Christy Casciano, News Channel 9. The CDC estimates more than two and a half million students vaped in 2022. That's about 14% of high schoolers nationwide. 